Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a smart suite partner. And today we're going to talk about how we can take a solution that we've built and share it with users outside of our team or outside of our organization. Why would I want to be able to do that? Well, we've got a couple different situations where this is super helpful. We've seen this with people inside of the smart suite community who are building awesome solutions that solve problems within their industries, and they want to share this with the world. We also find opportunities where people want to have a public facing data set. Maybe you've made a job board and you want to be able to share jobs outside with people and make them publicly available. That's another reason we might want to do. It. And then a third reason might be you're working with a client or some other organization and you want to build something on their behalf and be able to share it directly with them. Let's jump right into our workspace and we're going to open up a solution that we have. I'm using an out of the box one with a solution template of brand assets. We'll start by clicking up at the top and we can see that this is share solution disabled. The default behavior is that it's disabled because you don't want to necessarily share all of your solutions. You want to be conscious of when you're actually sharing them. But we can click on this here and you'll notice that we have a few different options when it comes to sharing the solution. I should say right away that you'll see these options to be able to share a solution if you're the solution creator or if you're an admin. If you don't have those permissions, you'll need to have one of those roles in order to be able to actually share this. Now we can see that the first thing we do is actually enable this so that it is shared. We can flip that toggle here. And then this is our unique shareable link. And so it's unique to this specific solution, a unique URL. And we have a few different actions here. One is to copy the shared link so that we can share that with others. Another is that we can regenerate a shared link. So let's say you had shared this out initially and then you decided you didn't want to make it public. And so we disabled it and then we wanted to start over again or you shared a link in a community you didn't want to. You've got the ability to regenerate that shared link. We also have the ability to grab an embed code. So if you want to put it on a WordPress website or any kind of website where you can publish embed codes and then actually render it on the site, you can grab it here. And then we also have the ability to preview a shared link and see what it's going to look like to folks outside of our organization. You'll see that this looks a little bit different here uh, because we don't have all of the navigation items we normally do. Of course, users will have the ability to see the information in these records, but you notice you try to click into it and we're not actually able to edit it, right? Because this is something that we're making publicly available that others can see outside of our actual team. Now, if we click back here, We've got a couple of options in terms of allowing users to copy this solution. Now, this is good if you want to make this totally available to people and they can take it and make it their own, make changes to it. It's not going to remain linked to yours. They're actually going to take a copy of it, put it inside of their workspace, and they can do anything to it that they want. This is great if you've built kind of an industry-wide solution and you want others to be able to make changes. But if it's something that you're trying to kind of lock down, then you probably don't want others to be able to copy that. And we can also restrict access with a passcode. You do need to have six digits here in order to have a passcode. And then of course, the user would have to input that passcode to be able to get access. So if you have something that maybe you're selling some intellectual property and they can only see this if they've become a paid user and then you give them a passcode for it, this will give you the ability to restrict this a little bit more than just making it totally publicly available. These are the main settings that we have in order to share our solution. I want to show you real quick what this is going to look like back inside of our workspace. You'll notice that there's this little icon. If you're familiar with the old days of RSS, we can see that there, uh, which just implies that we are sharing this. And it's really in your face and obvious, which I like because we don't want to get mixed up about which solutions that we're sharing and which ones that we're not sharing. Now, let's say we did want users to be able to actually copy the solution. Let's go back in and change our settings here. We'll allow users to copy it. We'll pop open that preview link again. You'll notice that there's the additional option here to copy a solution. And if that person is an admin or a solution creator, they'll be able to choose their available workspace. If you just have one, you'll see one available. They can choose that workspace and then they can install the template. And that's going to actually create that copy inside of their workspace. So it's no longer linked to the main one. Now they can go ahead and make any changes to it that they want. They are now the owner of this. So it has nothing to do with the solution that you previously had. If I'm another person, I could say, oh, you know what? I want to delete these fields and make the changes that I want as well. Now I want to talk about one more scenario, which is 
if we are creating a solution on behalf of a client, maybe we've created it inside of our own workspace and we make all the changes we want. And now comes a time where we want to hand it over to the client. This is a perfect use case where instead of using the feature that we just did to share solutions, we've got the ability to duplicate this into a different workspace. So instead, I'm going to click on the three ellipses that you see here and we'll click on duplicate solution. And from here, we can give this a new title if we want to, and we can tell it which workspace. So as long as we're that admin in another workspace, we've got the ability to choose a different workspace. We can also tell it whether we want to include records. So if you want all of your test data that's included, you could do that, or you could start with a clean slate and just have kind of the metadata configuration side of it. And do you want the comments as well? So we can include those or not, just click a button to duplicate that solution, which is gonna take that copy and put it in a new workspace. SmartSuite makes it easy to be able to collaborate with others, be it within our organization or even sharing these solutions outside of our organization. If you have any questions, I did leave the support article link in the description of the video below and reach out in the comments if you have any questions.